Hi, I'm Dave with Slipstream. We're gonna be going over some basic rooftop maintenance today, which will involve getting some basic readings to make sure the unit is working properly. Okay, now we're gonna go over temperature drops, possibly temperature rise, depending on what we're talking about. Referencing the temperature the unit's operating at, putting out, is gonna tell us again how it's operating. It'll indicate if we have dirty coils, if we're having a problem somewhere with the unit. So quick, relatively simple to check. If we're out on the unit outside, uh, on the roof side of the building, right here, this side of the unit's gonna be our return. This is gonna be our supply. So we could access directly from here. Now, if we were in a different situation, say in a, in a building, in an office building, you'd be able to do this exact same thing right below the unit where you have your ductwork drop. So this unit we already use as one of our demo units. So we have some pre-drilled uh, holes here. I have my meter on to uh, degrees and I'm gonna get in and this is my return. This will be my return side. So if we were below doing this from the ductwork, it would be our return run right below the unit. This is direct. This is actually a lot more accurate what the unit's doing because we're doing it at the unit than if we we're doing it just below the unit in the ductwork. That's kind of holding there. So now I'm gonna go into the supply side, which also when we're doing this, if we're doing it in the heating, we'd have to be careful because our heat exchanger is in here. So we gotta make sure we don't touch the heat exchanger with our probe. So we're only showing a 51 degree uh, supply air temperature. It's dropping to about 50, between 50 and 51. So right now we only have about 11 degree drop on our AC. Normally on AC, we're looking for somewhere 18 to 20 degrees, roughly. Now, if we were running in the heat mode, we do the exact same thing. Return temperature, supply temperature. Again, we could do it just below the unit in ductwork, if that's the case, or even a side discharge. If we had this ductwork attached to the side of the unit, we'd be able to access there also. But when we get in on the heat side, again, we get just inside. Be careful, make sure when you touch, you put that in, make sure you're not hitting anything metal because that would be the heat exchanger. That temperature is gonna be extremely hot on that heat exchanger. So you just wanna be in the airflow. The heat rise is gonna be different on units depending on the unit you're talking about. It will be listed on the information tag where we find our amp draws and all the other information. You know, this unit happens to be 55 to 85 degree temperature rise. So the normal range would be somewhere for your temperature rise, 55 degrees to 85 degrees between your return and your supply. Obviously, being at that maximum isn't ideal because then we're actually running kind of warm. It's always best to be down towards the lower end of that. Then you're usually in a safer range. Things are more comfort, a nice steady heating in the heating mode. Same thing with cooling, a high temperature drop is gonna drop that temperature too quick. So we're kind of looking for more reasonable temperatures for comfort, cooling, and heating. 